Judith Hamilton and Candy McCall are strangers with one life-altering thing in common. Neither ever imagined their marriages would end in divorce. I think it's probably one of the worst things to go through, worst, worst things in the world, worst thing for your kids. I didn't go into uh, being married with the expectation that I was going to get divorced. Statistically, about 50% of American couples divorce, Judith and Candy among them. But their journeys to dissolve their marriages took two very different legal paths. Judith went through the traditional court system, appearing before two masters, two judges, and multiple hearings to settle the divorce, resolve custody, support, and visitation. It's frustrating um, because there's not one person who um, is kind of there from the beginning and knows what you're dealing with and knows what you've been through in the past and, you know, what you're facing there at that time. So it can be frustrating. It's like having to tell your story over again um, from the very beginning. Candy's case went through a unified family court and her divorce was resolved through mediation, quickly and considering the circumstances relatively painlessly. Well, this system worked well for us, I thought. I didn't feel bounced around. Um, you know, the location and time and uh, was all clear. It was all pretty structured. There wasn't lots of waiting um, at a, on any given day. So it all went smoothly. The American Bar Association has supported the unified family court model since the mid-1990s. Originally, the ABA developed and implemented five UFC pilot sites in Puerto Rico, Atlanta, Seattle, Markham, Illinois, and Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore City's Family Division pilot project became permanent in 1998. Here, the intent is to try and decrease the trauma that's often associated with family legal problems. A whimsical mural with flying cars and cookies greets you. Artwork created by children covers the hallways as families approach what can be an intimidating, stark courtroom. For youngsters needing to be shielded from their parents' battles, a fun-filled daycare center is on site, as well as a supervised visitation center for parents with high conflict or domestic abuse situations. Here, a multitude of services for the family's non-legal issues are offered, from addictions counseling to anger management to co-parenting classes. This is what advocates call therapeutic jurisprudence. It's a court system that addresses the family holistically and it can resolve all of the family's legal needs, divorce, custody, child support, domestic violence, but it can also and should also address the non-legal needs that are often in family law cases much more significant than the legal issues, for example, substance abuse, mental health issues, family violence. Judges say the idea behind unified family courts is that they're a one-stop shop for a family's legal and non-legal issues. What you're really trying to do is solve a problem. And that's, in a nutshell, that's what you're doing. You're trying to solve the family's problem. You can't do that if all you're doing is putting a bandage here, a bandage there, you never see the whole picture. Family law attorneys say under unified family courts, the system is much more streamlined. The vast majority of divorce cases never goes to trial. More importantly, unified family courts do a much better job addressing the needs of children caught in the crossfire of relationships gone bad, those who have been abused, neglected, or have juvenile delinquency issues. Before they had a unified family court, the system was not organized. Uh, people were sent to different places and there was a lot of confusion. Right now, as an attorney, I see that the services that they render and how they handle the family is much more effective. Research also shows that judges who work in unified family courts have much greater satisfaction rates, truly believing they are helping families at a most difficult time. A lot of us who have worked in the unified family court system and who are advocates of it really refer to it as roll up your sleeves justice, where judges and masters get actively involved with the litigants before them to assess as best they can what are the real life problems that these particular litigants have had that have caused them to have legal issues to be brought before the court. The judge has the ability to see what the real problems are. The judge can deal with it effectively. And that brings some satisfaction to the judge. 
because the judge wants to do the very best job that he or she can do. Since the ABA held its first conference on unified family courts in 1998, some states, such as California and Indiana, have established pilot UFCs statewide. That same year, University of Baltimore School of Law professor Barbara Babb published her research on unified family courts nationwide and has since updated her findings twice, charting their growth. The results are pretty dramatic. In 19, from 1998 until my most recent survey, there's really been probably a 33 percent increase in the numbers of jurisdictions that are trying some form of unified family court, either statewide or in a selected area of the state or as a pilot project. And many of those jurisdictions that were pilot projects in 1998 have fully implemented unified family courts today. So for me, just seeing that kind of change over a relatively short period of time when dealing with such a complex institution as the justice system is really quite remarkable. But advocates know there is much more work to be done. Still, every day in this country, thousands of families, rich and poor, face a variety of social, legal, and emotional issues involving divorce, custody, substance abuse, and domestic violence. Bouncing these families from judge to judge, courtroom to courtroom, only exacerbates their problems. Advocates say unified family courts are a more effective, therapeutic, and holistic way to treat these families. I have realized that through my almost 30 years of practice, that people just want an opportunity to be heard and to be understood. And with this unified family court, um, they, they understand the whole process and they have the services to help people so they really don't need litigation. The unified family court approach of connecting one family with the same team of court personnel each time the family comes to court with the same judge to hear that family's case from start to finish should be adopted in more jurisdictions, advocates say, for the good of the entire family, especially the innocent children. So what we think we're doing is we are giving families, parents, tools to better determine how they can coexist, albeit not as a nuclear family. For Candy McCall, it's now time for her new family to heal. Judith Hamilton's frustrating experience led her to become a family law attorney and a supporter of unified family courts. Advocates say it's no longer okay for America's legal professionals to say we did the best that we could. For the sake of millions of families embroiled in emotionally draining, time-consuming, and expensive legal issues, it is time to do better.